Good morning, brothers and sisters. This morning, I'm going to uh, do some more reading from the book uh, Golden Nuggets from the Greek New Testament. This is a really, this is an amazing portion as well. It's a page before I read yesterday um, on page 39 and the top of page 40 on Golden Nuggets from the Greek New Testament. I know that's backwards and all, but you can see it. Gold Nuggets from the Greek New Testament. It says, Paul was a, it says about tents. Paul was a tent maker. We already knew that. It says, he, like every Jewish boy, learned some manual trade in addition to his chosen profession. The great scholar, he was a great scholar. The great scholar made tents for a living while preaching Christ. Acts 18 and 3. Writing to the Philippians in chapter 1, verse 23, he tells them of his conflicting desires to depart and be with Christ or to remain with them for their benefit. The words to depart are from a military word meaning to take down one's tent and be off. Paul wrote this in a military camp. Paul's human body was the tent in which he was living. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Hebrews 11, 9, lived in tents. A tent speaks of a pilgrim journey. They were looking for a permanent place of abode. Looking for a permanent place of abode. The Word became flesh and dwelt among us. That's John 1, 14. The word dwelt in the Greek is not an ordinary word which means to abide but a verb whose root is our word tent. Literally, the word took up his residence in a tent among us. Out from the ivory palace, the king of glory came to live in a tent among people who lived in tents. What condescension. But that is not all. In Revelation 21.3, we read literally, the tent of God, it says the tabernacle, but it's the same word. The tent of God is with men. And he will live in a tent in company with them. This tent is the same body in which our Lord lived while on earth, glorified. Wonder of wonders. The king condescends to live in a tent all through eternity with his bride. If his bride lives in a tent, he will. He chose her for himself, notwithstanding the tent. Notwithstanding the tent. I love you all, brothers and sisters. Hope you have a blessed, wonderful day. Stay strong in the Lord. Jesus loves you.